Here's lesson 23. Here we're dividing 6,270 by 38. If we set that up, that would be 6,270 divided by 38. 38 is our divisor. 38 is also close to 40, and thinking of it as 40 can help us with our estimates to try to think about how we are going to divide this number by 38. First off, we will start with this 6, which is worth 6 thousands. Can we divide 6 thousands by 38? The answer to that is no. We have to regroup the 6 thousands to 60 hundreds, and we put it together with the 2 there to have 62 hundreds. And we can divide 62 hundreds by 38 thinking about how many times 38 goes into that 62 there, that 62 hundreds. It would only be 1. So we record 1 in the hundreds place of the quotient. What is 100 times 38? That would be 38 hundreds. And that's why it is that we can go ahead and write 38 there, underneath the 62, which was 6200, and subtract that. At that point we have 24, and that would be worth 2400. We bring down the 7 at that point to regroup the 2400s to the tens place, so we're talking about 247 tens, and we're dividing that by 38. Thinking of this here, of our estimate, Remember we were talking about 40. What number is close to 247 without going over there? It would be 240 divided by 40 equaling 6. So let's try 6. And remember we'll put that into our tens place because we're really dividing 247 tens. 6 times 38. 6 times 8 is um, 48. 8 regroup of 4, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22, so we're subtracting 247 minus 228. 4 becomes a 3, 17, that's a 9 there, and that's a 1. It's 19, that's 19 tens, that's why we can bring down the 0 there, and then so we're really regrouping those 19 tens to the 1's place, and that's why it's worth 190 ones and we're dividing that by 38. Let's use that same strategy and approach. So pretend we're dividing by 40, because that's going to be our estimate, and then I know that 200 divided by 40 is 5, and let's work that off on the side here, and I think that'll work. Let's see, 38 times 5, um, 5 times 8 is 40, 0, regroup of 4, and 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19, 190. So it is 5, that's why I put a 5 in the 1's place there. And 5 times 38, just as I figured out before, is 190. Subtracting those, I get 0. So 6,270 divided by 38 is 165. To check my work, I would multiply the divisor, 38, by 165. But instead of it setting it up, like this here, 38 times 165, it's much easier for me to, to write out 165 times 38. That way I'm multiplying by two digits there. 8 times 5 is 40, 0, regroup the 4. 8 times 6 is 48, plus 4 is 52, 2, regroup the 5. And 8 times 1 is 8, plus 5 is 13, that's 1,320. Cross out my regroups, place a 0. 3 times 5 is 15, 5 regroup the 1. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19, 9 regroup the 1. And 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Adding those carefully together, I have 0, 7, 2, 1, 6,270, which matches. Here I have the problem 4,028 divided by 53. I'll go ahead and set this up. Remember our divisor is 53. Can I divide that 4,000s by 53? The answer to that is no. So the 4,000s would be grouped to the hundreds, put together with the zero here, 
That's worth 40 hundredths. Can I divide 40 hundredths by 53? The answer to that is also no. So I regroup those 40 hundredths to the tens place. 40 hundredths is worth 4 hundred tens, along with the 2 is 402 tens. Can I divide 402 tens by 53? The answer to that is yes. 53 is close to 50. And then so if I'm working out an estimate here, I know that's close to 400. Um, 402 is close to 400, and 400 divided by 50 is 8. Now, looking at this, though, I know that the answer is going to be 7 instead of 8. Here's 53 times 7. 53 times 7 is 1. Regroup a 2. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is 37, 371. So if I subtracted 402 minus 371, there would not be enough to have another... Um, another 53 there. And that's why it is that we'd have to choose 7 instead of choosing 8. 2 minus 1 is 1, and then 40 minus 37 is 3. So I have 31 there, and that's 31 tens. There was not enough to make another unit of 53. I take those 31 tens, regroup it to the ones place to be able to divide, and then so that 31 tens is worth 310 with the ones. That's why I can bring down the 8 for 318 ones, dividing that by 53. Using my estimate again, 53 is still close to 50, and I know that 300 is close to 318. And so 300 divided by 50 is 6. Let's go ahead and try that. 6 times 3 is 18. 8 regroup a 1. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 1 is 31, 318, subtract, and I have a 0 there. I do not write remainder 0. My answer is 76. Rereading my whole equation, that's 4,028 divided by 53 equaling 76. And again, I could go ahead and check that by multiplying that divisor 53 by 76. To show my check, ideally I'll get 4,028. There's step 1 of 53 times 76. There's step 2, and I just need to add them. There we go. And there's our check for 4,028 divided by 53. Okay, you go ahead and try. Remember to pause that video. 61 cannot go into 6,000. 61 can and go into 6,500. It goes in one whole time. 1 times 61 is 61. 65 minus 61 is 4. We bring down the 8. And we're talking about 48 tens there. We cannot divide 48 tens by 61. So there is a 0 in that tens place. 0 times 61 is 0. 48 minus 0 is 48 and those 48 tens gets regrouped to the ones place. Along with that 8, that's worth 488 ones. Here's my estimate for that, thinking divided by 60, and that would be 480 divided by 60 is um, 8. And then, so let's try 8. 8 times 1 is 8, and 8 times 6 is 48. 488. Did you run your check? Hope you did. Ideally, you set up 108 times 61, and work that out. There's step 1, place a 0. Eight, 6 times 8 is 48, 8 regroup of 4, that's a 4, that's a 6, and then we go ahead and add those two together, 8, 8, 5, 6, 6,588, and that is a check. Here's another one for you to try, 2,622 divided by 46. 46 cannot go into that 2 there. In other words, that 2,000 cannot be divided by 46. Regrouping it to the hundreds place, that's worth 26 hundreds, that 2 cannot be divided by 46. However, if we regroup that to the tens place, we have 262 tens, and that is divisible by 46. And the answer to that will place right there into that tens place. Using our estimate to be able to help us, 
46 is close to 50, and that would be 250 divided by 50 is equal to 5. Let's try 5. 5 times 6 is 30. 0, regroup a 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. Subtracting those, I'd have 32. And 32 is not enough to get another unit of 46 out of there. Those 32 tens, I have to regroup into the ones place then, and those 32 tens are worth 320, put together with that 2 is 322. Now, doing that same strategy and approach there, I know that it would be 300 divided by 50 equaling 6. Now, if I tried 6, this is what would result, 46 times 6, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 is 3, 24 plus 3 is 27, that's 276. And then if I subtracted those two, I'd actually figure out that 7 would be a better choice, because there would be another um, 46 to be able to take away from there. 7 times 6 is 42, 2 regroup the 4, and then 7 times 4 is 28, plus 4 is 32. 322 minus 322 is 0. So my answer is 57. Let's check that. Here's 57 times 46, and then we'll run that check. Close the 0. 8, 2, and carefully add. 2, 2, 1, 6, 2, 2, 6, 2, 2. So the big key here is to carefully divide place by place. This is where we place our answers, and we be very careful to place it in the appropriate place within the dividend, depending on what place value that we are rounding to. And we also use our estimates to help us figure out what digit to place in the quotient. Don't forget to check.